Today is one of those days where I've gotten so much work done over the past few days of like recording and editing and um, doing other things that I really like. Now it's it's my favorite part, which is the having a bunch of extra time day. And usually what happens is when I have extra time in the day, I'll either play some extra video games or I'll record and edit some extra videos and get ahead and then do it again and again and then hopefully get a couple weeks. Like with gaming videos, it's easy to get a couple weeks ahead. Vlog, impossible unless I did something ridiculously stupid. But it's just one of those days where like it's all extra stuff I can do. It's very weird. I really have not done much today. Like, some video work, some filming, some editing, some Rainbow Six Siege, like, today is one of those days where I'm like, you know, if I could, like, get to the point where I could just pick and choose when I do this, mm, it'll be good. And, actually, I also signed up, Amazon, um, when you launch a product and you're new, they actually have a free 60-day, like, training thing, where... You talk with someone on the phone who like knows what they're doing and is an Amazon advertising expert and like it's a free tutorial type thing. Experimenting with your product, making it more optimized. And it just seems like the guy in 20 minutes taught me stuff that it would take me hours to figure out, right? Like reading the search term results and reports and what the reports do and this button and that button and all this stuff and it's like oh that was really you know really cool what the advice that they gave so I got the phone call for that today rag and I won some rank stuff I mean the the cool thing about Rainbow Six Siege ranked is that it's it's nice to have the opportunity to play against people that are trying I get that you know, it takes a little bit to get to the place where people are trying, you know. The upper golds, um, especially, that's hard to get to. But when we got to that point, I noticed Rag and I, there was this weird shift where we would lose or win a game based on our teammates, right? And we were busy blaming our teammates for our losses, right? Because they would not do this or that or the other. And then somewhere we realized that... If we wanted to win, we got to take it into our own hands. And then there was a day where we won, I think, like 10 of 12 games. And the next day, we just bounced back and forth between winning and losing. And what we noticed was when we stopped raging, right, and generally just looked at everything with a neutral, not like a, oh, we did it, or no, we didn't do it, but more like, okay, this works, this doesn't work, this guy did this, you know, hyper analyzing and focusing on the game for extended periods of time we noticed that we started doing better right like even compared to a week ago compared to a week ago rag and i were stuck around silver and gold and now we're all the way we're heading to platinum really fast and we're not even in a team of five there's just two of us sometimes Devin or gosmer or forest joins or any combo of them but for the most part it's just the two of us and we're learning also the team dynamic of stuff. Rag and I are, you know, we'll solo queue and that, but what we really didn't have was like a team dynamic. Rag has it more than me because he's played with more teams, but it's really interesting watching, you know, taking something like gaming where it's really easy to make it not matter, right? Like, I don't know. What game you want to play? This game and or that game. And really focusing down on one game, which, by the way, we already own, so it's not expensive. And focusing on that one game and really learning the ins and outs of it has really been fun. That's one of the reasons, like, I really liked Siege when it was, you know, when it first came out, was there's so much depth to it. And even now, Rag and I, you know, we're learning more about the game, like, not necessarily how each operator works, because we know pretty much how every operator works. Not Maybe not some of the hyper-advanced plays, but 
for the most part, we could pick any operator and we know how to play them, right? But combining their abilities in all the ways possible and learning the dynamics of each operator, how they interact with all the other ones, that's something that we're learning and it's really cool watching us do that. I mean, we're even to the point now where we'll play ranked and it'll be like, okay, to kill this guy, one of us needs to be bait. I'll go bait. Rag will go bait. Do the bait. Like, we had a play the other... Like, literally today, we had a play where someone was at a door, didn't know Rag was there. I baited, got down, and crawled away, and the guy went to chase me, and Rag killed him and revived me, and we, we won that round. Like, that... We're, we're learning how that works in even better ways. It's, it's really cool, actually. Seeming to... It's almost like a rise to esports stuff, right? And the only reason we're playing Siege is because Siege is like to us the best shooter on the market, right? It's, I mean, that's to us. It's just because of the dynamic. It might not have the best form of gameplay or the best graphics, but everything put together, we just we love it. We love it, and it's helping me in other areas too, which are it's it's phenomenal how much video games really do help um, in real life. I think if I was ever, if I were to ever go to college, I would get a, I would become a PhD in like something ridiculous about the brain and video games. Like I would totally like major in psychology, minor in video game design, be that guy and write a PhD on the mental health effects of video games. Like I would totally be that guy that does that and constantly researches it. I mean, a lot, that's something I really like. I've learned over the years. I know this is a big, this is going to be a freaking video on its own. Like, I, I filmed something today. I'm like, oh, today's going to be a lazy day, but also work, you know. But, um, like, learning other people's psychology is just, it's really cool to me, fascinating to me that there's so much to different people. I mean, even watching Rainbow Six, you can tell, like, Figuring out how to tell if someone is in in a solo queue or not, it's it's weird, but we can you can figure it out. It's it's really cool, and so I love the the dynamic that Siege gives of practicing logic and I guess you'd call it empathy at the same time. It's 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 weird. It's like it satisfies the creative and the logic part of your brain. It's really weird because I mean you got to figure out. Not only how to com like, not only the basics of like, you know how the ops work, but then you got to figure out how to communicate with other people and how the other enemies are going to act. It's crazy. So I guess this is just one, one whole take for the vlog. I guess this is just a sit down talking about the whole day in one video. But if you guys enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for the daily vlog of Amazon selling and eBay selling and video gaming and stuff. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode stream or vlog, whatever I decide to make.